Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this feels weird. Okay, so I'm doing this on my laptop instead of on my camera because my camera is uh, on like 1% battery. Uh, so I just thought I would do like a, an update vlog. Um, so my first trip, which was the day after my last message, um, yeah, I made it about half an hour out of Leeds before black smoke started pluming out of the back of the van uh, and the speed dropped. So I pulled up on the side of the motorway, well, the A1, on the hard shoulder, um, and I had to wait two hours for a recovery truck who took me about a mile down the road to a service station. Um, and then I spoke to the AA again and they reckoned it could be up to three hours for a wait. Um, so I'd asked around and I think the problem was, um, due to my electrical issues, it had made, well, well I'd, I'd put a lot of sunflower oil in the, the engine. Normally I stick to try and have it around 40% uh, sunflower oil, but on this occasion I'd stuck it might have been up to three quarters and far oil, I don't know. I shouldn't have, uh, but I did. Okay, so now I know, but I learned the thing. Um, yeah, so having been dropped off at the station, uh, the service station, um, I found out it's going to be an hour, hours of wait for the AA. So I went to the uh, gas station, the diesel station, put in another 10 litres of diesel, thought, oh, maybe I'll mix it, okay. Did a few laps around the service station, uh, and yeah, it was it seemed fine. So I rang up AA, cancelled it, said I'm just gonna, I'll, I'm, I should be all right. Went back on the motorway, instantly hit the motorway, black smoke pluming out. Just put myself in the exact same situation as I was in to begin with. So, but when I spoke to the AA on the first time, uh, I spoke to the guy on the phone. He said, "Look, tip for you." Um, don't get stuck in this stupid place because then you have to wait for us to come and get you out of this stupid place just to wait again for us to come and catch you the first time, right? Um, I thought, okay, so I might have limp. That, that by this time it was about 8 p.m. Um, it was starting to get dark, the motorway was dead, the able road was dead. So I was able to limp down it at about 30 miles an hour, my hazards on. Um, and I found a little cafe, Glow's Cafe it's called. Um, so I pulled in there, I uh, spoke to the AA, um, they sent a local mechanic to my new location. Um, he ended up taking three hours to turn up, but in that time I met the owner of the, um, the, the bar, a guy called Ricky. So this guy, this place, Glow's Bar, is run by Vicky. Ricky and his, his fiance Vicky uh, and their many children. They have five children, he's got two more children, seven children. Um, I don't know their names. Oh, I met one, Dennis. Um, he's cool, he's going far. Um, so, yeah, so I just basically, when, when the mechanic did turn up, um, yeah, he was like, oh, no, fuck, mate. So that wasn't much good. Uh, but what happened is me and Ricky just ended up partying um, outside the cafe till 11 a.m. Um, at which point I crawled into a very hot bad van, having finished off a bottle of whiskey and drunk many Stellas. Um, and when I woke up, he'd gone and got me another 10 liters of diesel. So I. I wait for my hangover to disappear, stuck the diesel in, did a few little laps around his car park, it seemed alright, and then off I went. And so I arrived at Nathan's uh, a day late, very hungover, um, and the alternator had almost fallen off, but that's, a, that's another story, we won't, we won't get into that. Um, so yeah, day one, already meeting great people, having a good time, having horrible hangovers, but happy to be out on the road.